I'm in the mood to make some homemade chicken noodle soup. Come on. For tonight's chicken noodle soup, you're going to need just a little bit of Wesson oil to fry up the chicken and the vegetables in. You're going to need one of these things. It's like a spork, <laughs> you know, because it's a fork, it's a spoon, it's got a little hole in it to drain, to stir with, etc. For seasoning, you will need some salt, some pepper, and some parsley. Pretty basic seasoning, actually. To cook with, you're going to need a frying pan and a soup pot. Now, if you prefer, you could also put this in the crock pot. You're going to need some chicken breast, some chicken broth. I prefer the Swanson. Some butter to add to it. You also, for your vegetables, will need some celery, some carrots, and last but not least, some noodles. I prefer the egg noodles. Let's start dinner. Add a dash of oil to the frying pan. Wash your hands and cut up that chicken. Yes, you always have to wash your hands before touching and after touching that chicken. All right, open up the chicken. I prefer using scissors on these. These are the individual packs by Foster Farms. And then just, of course, put it on the package. On the plate, you know. It's still kind of frozen. It's, to me, it's easier to cut up when it's still kind of frozen. So I prefer still kind of frozen when I'm cutting up this chicken. After you cube it up, you're going to put it in the frying pan. It's pretty well cubed up. Now dump it in the frying pan. Make sure the flame is on low. And then, of course, wash your hands one more time. <laughs> you cannot wash your hands too much when working with chicken. Always wash your hands and cook the chicken thoroughly. Season with salt and pepper. I tend to go overboard on the pepper because I really like pepper. <laughs> and yes, you can even put in some of the parsley flakes while it's cooking. Stir it up just a little bit and add some water to your soup. And as with any soup, the more water you add, <laughs> the more soup you get. So yeah, feel free to fill her up. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to add also that chicken broth. Yes, one can of chicken broth. Mmm. <laughs> Put that on the stove and set the flame to high. <laughs> yes, high. You want it on high. And of course, put that lid on just to crack, okay? Remember, always leave it just to crack so it doesn't overflow. Check on the chicken, stir it up a little bit, and then start cutting up your carrots and celery. Don't forget to, you know, wash those veggies and cut off all the, uh, the parts that you don't really want to ingest. <laughs> you know, you just want the, the good stuff, you know. Basically, just enough for some flavoring. Celery has excellent flavoring for some reason with chicken. I thought, you know, it was only good for tuna, but celery actually works really good in chicken pot pie, chicken soups. Celery, it's like a secret ingredient. <laughs> but you only need a little, not a whole bunch. Now dump that in the frying pan. Let it cook it. Next, grab about three carrots and get ready to wash and cut those up too. Yeah, always scrape them really, really good. Get all the outside skin off. And cut the edges. Don't be afraid to cut those edges off either. <laughs> Chop them up in nice big chunks. <laughs> the bigger the carrot chunk, the tastier the carrot chunk, you know? <laughs> and then, of course, you're going to drop that in the frying pan also with the chicken. Bump, ba da da bum. Ta da! <laughs> 
Feel free to add more seasoning, salt and pepper and parsley. Yeah, lots of pepper. <laughs> you want to cook the chicken all the way through before adding it to the pot for the soup. Do the cleanup. And be sure to wash your hands again. <laughs> While that is cooking, you're going to add a spoonful of butter to the a big spoonful of butter. <laughs> and then put the lid back on. Do a quick stir of the veggies and the chicken mixture. You're going to add the noodles to the pot now. Basically, I'm using a half a bag. Stir them up. And I'm going to show you why I prefer this tool. Because you can pick it up and just dump it in there easily without spilling anything, you know. See? <laughs> As you can see, it filled this up to the very, very top. So now you're just going to let it do its thing. Stir it up a little bit. Make sure you put that lid on. Turn that heat down. And don't forget, leave it a crack. Otherwise, it will definitely boil over. Yes, turn down the heat. It's going to be soup in a few hours. <laughs> Put the frying pan in the sink, do a little cleanup, and, and be sure to clean off that counter for any chicken that may have, you know, gotten on there. Cleanup done. Now, I just got to wait until it's soup. Mmm, it's definitely smelling like chicken noodle soup. <laughs> I'm going to tad more pepper because I do like pepper. Of course, you can always add, you know, your own favorite seasonings. You know, if you want to give it a little extra bite, perhaps, like uh, some chili pepper. Mmm, <laughs> it smells so good. The best part of cooking really is smelling what is cooking. It's kind of like sex, you know. <laughs> Dinner is basically ready when you are, so... Grab your bowl. Mm. I am hungry now, so I grabbed a ladle because I definitely want some of this juice. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. Mmm. Grab a spoon. <laughs> oh, and grab some crackers if you like some crackers. And as always, something cool to drink. All right, dinner is ready. <laughs> I am hungry too. Oh, the best part about chicken noodle soup is, you know, it's like any soup. The longer it cooks, the better it's going to taste. And you're going to have some leftovers. So, you know, it's a good thing. <laughs> so, uh, with this recipe, just remember, you know, if you want to switch it out, you can. If you want different noodles, go for it. If you want different vegetables, go for it. If you want different seasoning besides the basic salt, pepper, and parsley, and make it a little spicier, go for it. Just... When it comes to soup, basically you can just throw anything you want into the pot as long as make sure to cook the meat really well done before you put that in the pot. Outside of that, yeah, soup. <laughs> it's good. Mm. And I like rich crackers, not the saltines. I know a lot of people like saltines, but I like rich crackers with my soup. Mm. All right, let's see. Blow on it first because <laughs> it's kind of hot. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, I'm glad I made chicken noodle soup. <laughs> chicken noodle soup. It's good for the soul. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Somebody wrote a book called that. I better not say that. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to be in trouble for just saying something copywritten. <laughs> Let me know what you put in your chicken noodle soup, okay? And uh, which cracker you prefer. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Mm. Bye.